Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Rob Rosberg from the Hospital for Special Surgery, and I wanted to present a case to you on lengthening and reconstruction of a short transfemoral amputation. Uh, this uh, case, as you'll see, is really a uh, bridge between um, bone lengthening, limb lengthening, and um, amputation reconstruction. Um, at Hospital for Special Surgery, um, we do limb reconstruction and we do limb salvage surgery, but in many cases, um, the optimal treatment is an amputation reconstruction. And in some cases, patients have had amputations that need further reconstruction. And I think this case is going to help illustrate that. Um, the, uh, the website down at the bottom of the screen, hss.edu um, forward slash LSARC, is a good resource. It stands for the Limb Salvage and Amputation Reconstruction Center. Um, this case is uh, a story about uh, Dan, who is a 51-year-old um, man. Uh, Dan's a patient of mine. He's also a um, certified prosthetist and has given me permission to um, show his images, his face, and his x-rays for the purpose of this educational experience. So you can see this is a, um, an x-ray, an AP x-ray of the hip showing a very, very small um, residual femur bone. It's only about seven centimeters in length. Dan has a long history uh, with sarcoma when he was a teenager and underwent multiple um, limb salvage surgeries with prosthesis and then developed infections and problems and ultimately has had this very, uh, very short um, residual femur. Uh, the problem with this is that um, it makes it very difficult to wear a uh, prosthesis. The socket prosthesis doesn't have much of a mechanical advantage because it doesn't have a lot to grab onto. And this is the side view x-ray just again showing the um, very short um, residual femur. Now at another hospital he underwent a failed attempt at trying to lengthen this piece of bone. While a good idea and concept, the bone stock was very poor and the uh, lengthening device just uh, cut out of the bone. And ultimately this became infected. Um, and what you can see here is a, um, a temporary cement spacer placed that um, is really providing some degree of support along with a rod. Which brings us to the reconstruction that I performed for Dan. Um, I used a bulk allograft, which was about six inches in length, and I stabilized it to the small residual femur that was in place with a carbon fiber rod. The um, orange arrow really shows the full extent of the additional um, allograft piece that was used. The screws are visible, and then the, the carbon fiber rod rod is not visible on x-ray. Now uh, you can see on this front view x-ray his femur length is about nine inches and that's a completely different situation. I mean this is going to give him the ability to um, propel forward and wear a prosthesis with much greater mechanical efficiency. Again this was done with a carbon fiber rod, a bulk allograft combined with um, autogenous iliac crest bone graft, and also uh, bone morphogenic protein. This is a side view showing the reconstruction. Uh, just to review, this is the before picture showing the small uh, residual femur and what it looks like after the reconstruction, now, in a, now about nine inches in length. Well, Dan was on his feet uh, with a prosthesis just about six weeks after the surgery. Uh, he's a very energetic uh, guy, and uh, as I told you, he's a prosthetist himself, so he is very familiar with the business. And um, he quickly got back in action, uh, both at work um, and play, just a few months uh, after surgery. I've listed some of his professional information, uh, again, with his uh, permission. 
and this was a picture that Dan actually just sent me yesterday, um, four months after the surgery, showing him um, having a catch on the beach, and uh, that makes me very, very happy and satisfied. If you're a professional and you want to learn more about these kinds of reconstructive cases, this is a good resource. I want to thank all of you for your attention. I hope that this has been informative. Um, again, you can look at the uh, websites below as resources. And in particular for this case, uh, the idea of um, amputation reconstruction. Um, the, uh, the website is LSARC which is Limb Salvage and Amputation Reconstruction Center at Hospital for Special Surgery.